My name is Ray Troll. I'm an artist from Ketchikan, Alaska. And I, uh, I'm an artist, yeah. I got interested in paleo art because, well, it was the very first thing I drew as a kid. And uh, just fascinated by these real life creatures that were, you know, like dragons or something, or mythical animals, but these were real. Well, Paleo Palooza is a wonderful event, and it's just an excuse to get everybody out and celebrate prehistoric life. It's really cool. It's kind of a party atmosphere. There's people in costumes, there's face painting. And I really hope what it does is inspire the next generation, including moms and dads, to don't give up on your paleo love, but inspire the next generation to, uh, you know, really want to know more about their world. I'm here at the Academy of Natural Sciences. The idea came up to draw a life-size rendition of Hattie the Hadrosaur. I'm the third artist to come along and draw this dinosaur on the wall. Jason Poole did a couple of them and David Zinn did the, another one, but uh, here I am, artist number three. There is an outline on the wall for the artist to follow, but I did defy that a little bit. In particular, you know, that three-quarter pose with the head turned toward you is kind of cool. It's more challenging, actually, as an artist to get that depth going there so maybe I, I cheated a little bit and just did a side view but I really love the distinctive side view the side view of the duckbill dinosaur it's wonky and weird that's the beautiful thing about this is I mean, how wonderful is it you're drawing something life-size and there's the skeleton right there there's been a lot of times I've drawn dinosaurs in my distant Alaskan studio and I don't have the opportunity to have, be able to look at a mounted dinosaur but that's the very first thing you start out with as a, a paleo artist is you want to look at what you know, the original evidence is the original evidence is the fossil itself when you work with chalk, the natural tendency is to start smearing it and kind of getting all that dust everywhere. But I really like just the, the way, if you look at the way I've drawn it, a little bit different. I was not really using the side of the chalk at all. I wasn't really smearing it. I'm just drawing basically with the point of it. So I really like leaving those hatch marks everywhere. So if you look at it, the hatch marks are there. I love uh, just the, 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 the dirtiness of it. You know, just kind of, you're basically kind of rubbing you know, dirt onto a wall, colored dirt onto a wall, and there it will stay. So it's actually very little oily pigment or anything in it. It's just like the dust of the earth that you're putting onto a wall. Mm. That's kind of cosmic.